Okay. What do we think simplicity might mean? Uh, he like to do that. Uh, he's genius for his simplicity. I think that um, I became a teacher because I love children. That's just always the standard. But I really love learning and I like seeing other people learn and just watching people grow. And I've progressed as I became more involved with teaching, started learning what it was that I really was passionate about teaching. And that's reading. And so that makes, you know, now that there I am, I found my place, reading teacher. So. Middle school students will keep you on your toes. You don't know what you're going to get from one day to the other. Um, sometimes they're, they're affectionate little puppies, ready to hug and be like small children. And other days they're mature and too cool to, to do anything that you ask of them. Um, but there's enjoyable. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> Whenever you're ready to stop, you hit that button, okay? And friction will apply, ready? Honestly, with science more than anything else, I mean, it's, you can learn it on a worksheet. You can learn it by learning it from the teacher, but it doesn't really, it really doesn't hit, hit the students. It really doesn't get, you don't get that wow factor until they see it, they feel it, they touch it, they measure it. And when they measure it, and when they see it and they feel it and they touch it, it becomes real to them. And so that's what I try to emphasize with all these hands-on activities. I want them to be interacting with an atom rather than actually just hearing about an atom. I want them to be building an atom, like in the activity today. I, you know, I just want them to, to, to see it, feel it, touch it. I want to create a sense of wonder that, that is going to hopefully pique an interest that will one day lead them into either a scientific field or maybe an educational field. Figurative language. What do I mean by figurative language? Yes, ma'am. This girl is on fire. I wish I could sing. Is the girl really on fire? Yes. No. No, she's figuratively on fire. I'm a teacher because I absolutely love working with students. I love working with children. Um, I, I've always known I wanted to be a teacher. Uh, I was influenced in the sixth grade myself by a teacher, and from that day forward, I, I decided that I was going to dedicate myself to becoming a teacher and making a difference in somebody's life. Last year, I, I dedicated myself a lot to the school. I started a basketball team. I got a $30,000 grant for the school and just put a lot of hours in. So, so being named Teacher of the Year for the school was one thing. And then to come and find out and be named top five, they, they caught me on surprise on an awards day. So not only was I giving awards to my students for being amazing students, I received an award for being an amazing teacher. And I, I was speechless. It's, it's one of those times in my life where I, I had nothing to say. And it, it, it was absolutely amazing. Here we come, scuttling down the beach. We get the funniest looks from other crabs we see. First of all, I never started out wanting to be a teacher. I actually wanted to be a journalist. But then I became a mom. And as a mom, I had my priorities shift. And in that shifting, I actually discovered what I was meant to do. I love teaching. I get to be around children all day long. I get to see everything fresh and new every day. We got to see fiddler crabs fresh and new. I mean, how exciting is that? But the joy is that I get to come here and I get to take a topic and we get to sing about it, read about it, dance it. Um, we get to pull every art form into it. And at the end of the day, they go home learning so much more than they knew when they started. Big ending. <laughs> Very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to create fractions and decimals on by making a design on these grids. And the design's going to be your name. Um, I was um, working at MUSC during research, getting ready to start a PhD program, and felt like I was closed in in the lab, and just one day decided I was leaving all of it and becoming a teacher. I knew I wanted to work with children and teaching was the way I could do that. And I love teaching math and science and watching them explore and learn new things. And I just couldn't imagine doing anything else. I'm very honored to be one of the top five. I don't, I've never felt like I do anything different than any of the other teachers. I feel like I come to work every day and I teach and I just want the best for my students. And I think that all teachers 
come to work and do that. So I was very honored to be chosen as one of the top five. Good. Well, that's really good.